right there with the pink cap. Pocahontas to school, the orange sleeves and cap overcoming the draw is now setting the pace. Reputable is on the outside of runners, hands to the answer. They are followed by Maybe, who's about six lengths off the leader. Further back is Attic View, it's got seven or eight to make up. Lizzie's Chapel's nine lengths off the leader. Then Rocker Dune, further back, has announced the secret. That gives them 12 lengths start. Ravishing Lizzie and Pure Life, the last two. They're racing about 13, 14 lengths off the leader. The leader is Pocahontas Girl. Leads it by a length and a quarter. Modernist to the favorite is back second. Mary Chase is back at the rail in third. They're followed further back on the outside by Attic View and Reputable, both on the move. Answer the answer. Maybe's along the inside, that's got the red cap, and Lizzie's Chapel's about seven lengths off the leader. Announce the secret on the outside, Caligari Carnival, ravishing Lizzie's further back in the running. Then Rocker Dune and Pure Life's the trailer, 14 lengths off the leader. Pocahontas Girl is still the leader, 83 rand a win, is setting the fractions. In second, Modernista. At the rail is Mary Chase, reputables on the outside. Further back, answer the answer. Then comes Maybe, Attic View, Lizzie's Chapel. Then Caligari Carnival as they turn into the home stretch. And it's Pocahontas Girl still the leader. Modernista, the pink sleeves and caps, going to try and throw out the challenge. Down the inside is Maybe, and further back in the running, Mary Chase. Maybe Pocahontas Girl tries to fight right back. Modernist is on the outside, but it's Maybe who now hit the front. Caligari Carnival's running on, but it's Maybe going on, and Maybe's going to win it. Second position is close. Modernist or Caligari Carnival, and then Pocahontas Girl. Number 10, maybe. The AP answer, another one for Doug Campbell, Ian Sturgeon. This one also bred by Doug at the Sugar Hill Stud. And they end up winning it in the show up on the tote. 740 a win, 170 a place. The minor placings get very close. Modern Nista, the tote favourite. And on the inside, Caligari Carnival. Let's see, it goes to... Maybe Modernista, very close. Wait for the judges. Caligari Carnival, and that fourth place goes to the Ruffy in the race. Well, it was paying 83 rand to win, 14.50 a place. Pocahontas School, who led most of the journey. Then a big gap back to answer the answer. Mary Chase, Lizzie's Chapel, and they were followed by Ravishing Lizzie, Rocket Dune, and then came Attic View and Reputable with Announce the Secret. Take a look at that head on shortly. The minimum pick six was paying 6,000 Rand. That was with the favorite, but it will go up obviously. Pocahontas to school leads it. The orange sleeves and cap. The winners with the bright uh, yellow and the red cap, two off the left hand side. And Modernista was always prominent, but did not kick on in the latter stages. Victory for the eighth and last goes to maybe a treble for Doug Campbell. We're at Scottsville on Sunday. Until then, Craig Peters signing off.
The answer is yes, and maybe he's come through to win. Doug Campbell opened the batting with the first two. Blaze the trail ran a cracker, and he's ended off the meeting on a high with maybe the daughter of AP answer. Well done. This has been a tremendous night at the office. Oh, it has. It's wonderful you have nights like this, and we've got lovely patrons. We've got shares in this horse, so it's been a lovely evening. Thank you. You're quite confident she'd go the trip? I was, you know, she, her mother was a, a 2,000 metre horse, I trained her and uh, I, I really thought she would, she got a lovely action, I think she really enjoyed the grass. She put them to bed at the 300? Yes, uh, Ian suddenly came around the bend, he knew it was all over. Well, well done, enjoy the trip home. I will, it's, make, make, it's much easier driving home after three wins. <laughs> you can get up early in the morning, you got that spring in your step. Absolutely, <laughs> thank you, well thanks very much. Well, thanks. well done to Doug Campbell, let's get the connections in while we wait for Ian Sturgeon. Congratulations, you must have really been looking forward to this race. Yes, we waited the whole night for this last race. We just want to say congratulations to Sturgeon and Doug Campbell for the hard work. They gave you a bit of confidence to have a little each way go? Yeah, we punched it nicely. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations to the connections. Jockey Ian Sturgeon bouncing back. And number 10, maybe, bred by the Sugar Hill stud has come through. Take us through the early part. Challenge, she was drawn well and it made my race very simple because um, Billy wanted to go up there and, and, and I just wanted to get in behind a few and uh, so I got in front of the horse drawn one and, and uh, the race just panned out from there, you know, around the bend, uh, just, just relaxing on her and getting her to switch off and let her use her action and, you know, when I turned for home she was, she was almost climbing over them, I couldn't wait to, for the false rail to come and uh, when I cut her loose it was instant, she turned it on, obviously the extra trip has done the trick for her because she's... Uh, She's quite nicely bred, you know, her mom was quite a nice filly, Doug, Doug trained her and he did very well with her. And she also liked to race up handy and, and just turn it on from a good, from a, from a, almost a quick run race. And this filly could turn out something decent as well. So we'll pencil her in for the future? Yeah, you know, she's got some maturing to do. She still looked around when she got there and I think she can, she can improve a little bit. Thanks very much for coming back. Good stuff. Thanks very much to Doug and his team. I thought when he took me off to Lonsdale, I was at a loss for a winner, but he's come through for me in the last. And, and of course, to all the owners, I appreciate it. Well done. Cheers. Well done to Ian Sturgeon. Terrific evening at the races for Doug Campbell. They had the first two winners and the last race, number 10, maybe. That's a wrap from Gravel. Sunday, Scottsville. We'll catch you then.